guys so here I am back with another makeup tutorial um, this is just a look that I tend to wear very often and I thought it'd be perfect for the holidays especially since many of you have requested it so let's get started I'm first going to start with my LA girl pro prep primer and this one just ends up with a nice smooth matte finish so I love this one next I'm using my NYX color correcting concealer I'm gonna start with this pink one and then kind of switch to the salmon one down below I mix the two colors up and this is gonna just kind of cancel out that redness under my eyes or the dark circles as well just so it doesn't peek through my foundation and I'm using a Glamier tapered uh, concealer brush and now I'm just using my fingers to blend that in uh, I didn't want to use a brush I just kind of wanted to use my ring finger this time Next, I'm taking this yellow kind of uh, concealer. It kind of reminds me of the yellow banana powder. This is just going to give a slight highlight. And once again, I'm using my fingers to blend that in. Now I'm taking my Estee Lauder, Lauder sorry, Double Wear Foundation and I'm just putting little tiny dots on my face. I wanted to use my hands because I just felt like being messy today. Now I'm just adding some Glamier powder to my face. Sorry, I had to get a kiss from him. <laughs> so I didn't show the powder, but uh, my Glamier palette broke. But this is how it looks. And um, this is the Kat Von D Prime and Correct. This is by far my favorite uh, eyeshadow primer. <clears throat> a little goes a long way and not only it not only does it prime but it kind of color corrects your eyelids if you have discoloration so now I'm taking my BH cosmetics palette it's the 20 neutral color palette and I just use that like pinkish brown color as a transition color and I'm using a Sigma uh, fluffy brush here and I'm just applying that again as my transition color kind of taking it close to the brow bone but not all the way up Next, I'm taking this more kind of orangey brown kind of shade and I'm using my Sigma E38 brush and we're just going to use that in our crease. So now I'm taking my Kat Von D Monarch palette. This palette is so freaking amazing. And the color I'm using right here is Telepathy. It's like a pearl gold champagne kind of color. It is the best champagne I have ever used. I use this all the time. And I'm taking more of a flat brush from Sigma and I'm applying that on my eyelid and going a little bit past my crease only because uh, my eyelids are really small. And I'm taking that into the inner corner and blending that up into the transition shade and taking it down a little bit below the waterline. So this is just going to brighten up the eyes. Now I'm taking Shadow Box. This color you have to be extremely careful with it. All I did was dabbed this Crown C463 brush in it. And as you can see there's so much pigment on it. So you don't want to keep rubbing that brush in there because it's just going to make it it's gonna make a lot of color transfer onto your brush so I'm kind of cutting the crease using that smaller flat brush and then I took my E38 brush and I'm blending that out up into my transition shades so it's kind of a cut crease but not so strong I didn't want it too strong I wanted to make it a bit more subtle and I'm taking that brown telepathy and kind of winging it out a little bit Next, I'm just taking Telepathy and I'm 
only adding a slight, slight shadow. So I don't want too much brown under there. And I'm taking my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner and we're just going to create a nice, big, thick wing. And here we go, nice wing. So now I'm taking my It Cosmetic It Cosmetics Hello Lashes mascara and just adding some quickly. I love this mascara just because it has such a thin brush to it. Now I'm taking my Ardell lashes, my Lacies, and uh, my Double Up 203s. So it's like triple pair in one. And here we go. A nice flare at the corner of our lashes. So I'm using my mascara again and just kind of adding a little bit of mascara to my lower lashes. Now I'm taking this City Color Beach Beauty Bronzer and applying that with my Glamier Fan Brush. And I did put a lot so I'm kind of trying to blend it out because I made it a little too dramatic. So now I'm taking my Tarte True Love blush and we're just going to add a little bit of pink to that bronzer. Now I'm taking my What's Up highlighter and this is from Benefit Cosmetics. This one's really cool because it has like a little sponge tip at the end to blend out your highlighter. And I'm just adding a, a small little highlight. You know, I'm not crazy with my highlighting. So I'm just adding one at the ridge of my nose and at the cheekbones as well. I seriously love this highlighter. It looks amazing once everything's blended and completed. This is it. Next, I'm adding a little bit of a highlighter to my cupid's bow. I'm just using my fingers for that just because the applicator is just too big. Now, I'm taking my Burt Bees Replenishing kind of chapstick moisturizer and I'm using Melt Cosmetics 666 uh, to outline and shadow my lips. And I'm just taking my small crown brush, it's a lip brush that I purchased. Then I'm adding more lipstick to the corners just to give it a nice shadow. Now I'm taking my Kat Von D Outlaw Liquid Lipstick. This is by far one of my favorite red lipsticks. I wear all the time. You see me post about it all the time on Instagram. And this is the final look. you all enjoyed this look. I know it's been a while since I've done a makeup tutorial, but I really wanted to get this out. I hope it wasn't too difficult. I mean, if I can do it, I think you can do it because I'm not like the best at makeup. I'm just, you know, kind of okay. <laughs> but yeah, um, I try not to use too many colors just to simplify it. I, I didn't want it to get too complicated. But give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Let me know what other makeup look you'd like to see and I can try it try to attempt it and yeah I love you dolls thank you so much for your support thank you for sticking around when I've disappeared and been down and out but you all have been so supportive and I really really appreciate it and I love you so so much thanks loves bye